Hello, hello. Welcome to today's Thursday live lesson here on the Speak English with Vanessa Facebook page. Today we're going to be talking about winter because today in my city it is cold. Really cold. I think it's below zero this morning, maybe minus two, minus two, but this afternoon it might become so much warmer, one degree. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about cold weather, and I hope that for you, even if you're living in a country that isn't experiencing cold weather right now, I hope that today's vocabulary will be useful for you because if you watch any movie or TV show about winter, you're going to hear these words. And if you travel or you talk to someone from cold climate, you're going to use these words. So I'm sure they'll be useful to you. And I want to get your feedback too. So uh, first of all, if you are new here, welcome. Welcome Ali. Welcome Douglas. Welcome Ismail. Oh, Ismail says it's zero degrees here. Oh, cold for you too. So if you are new here, let me know where are you from and what's the temperature today? What's the temperature? I'm curious if we have a majority of people who have cold weather or a majority of people who have warm weather because in the southern hemisphere near the equator too, it's probably going to be pretty warm. Oh, Ali said in Indonesia, it's hot. <laughs> so for you, you don't need to experience winter right now, but it's okay because you're going to hear about it in other places. Oh, <laughs> Ismail says cold weather. Indonesia is warm weather. We've got one and one. Abdullah says cold weather. Vanessa, me, I say cold weather too. Najib from Algeria, welcome. Valerio, glad you're here. Glad you're here. If you uh, if you have not already stayed warm inside <laughs> with my end of the year present, I made an end of the year present for you called Top Three Tips. So at the moment on YouTube, in my YouTube channel, each Tuesday and Friday, there is a new video in this series, top three tips to improve your grammar, top three tips to improve your vocabulary, top three tips to improve your fluency and speaking and memory and pronunciation. There are several videos in this series, but it's good to watch the video, but I think that sometimes later, maybe six months later, you might forget some of those tips or you want to remember them quickly. So I created a PDF download so that you can remember each tip, take a look at them, and also get some extra resources, some other YouTube videos or some websites that I recommend so that you can start using those tips now. So if you would like to get this guide, the top three tips guide, the link is in the description of this video, speakenglishwithvanessa.com slash top three, the number three. I hope you'll enjoy this and maybe when it's cold outside, you can stay inside and warm reading these tips and then learning English. <laughs> oh, wonderful. A lot of people say it's cold. Oh, it's 18 degrees in San Paulo, not too cold. It's a little chilly, but not too bad. <laughs> oh, Nijin says, it's cold weather. Za says, not too cold, today's a lovely day. Great. Oh, hi, Jackson. Jackson from Taiwan says, the temperature is 12 degrees. So probably for Taiwan, that's pretty cold. It's not a typical summer temperature. Hi, Mio from Myanmar, Mustafa from Turkey, welcome, from Spain, excellent, David, welcome. Oh, Hamid says, it's very cold in our city. All right, a lot of people are experiencing cold weather right now. So, <laughs> I hope that for you, if you are experiencing cold weather, we're going to talk about our first phrasal verb today. And I saw already someone wrote it, Marco, hi Marco, Marco wrote, Bundle up? 
question mark, question mark, question mark. Yes, this is the phrasal verb that we use to talk about putting on a lot of clothes. <laughs> so when you wear a lot of winter clothes, you are bundling up, bundling up. So in your city, I want to know, do you need to bundle up? In my city, yes. Today, certainly. I need to bundle up because my nose will get cold, my face will get cold, my hands, my body, my cheeks will become really red. I need to bundle up. And in just a moment, I have a lot of clothes here, winter clothes. I'm going to explain each of those pieces of clothing, how you can talk about them, and what what it looks like to bundle up. So <laughs> Marco says today, absolutely not. I don't need to bundle up. <laughs> you don't need to bundle up. It's, oh, Harry says in Vietnam, it's 25 degrees Celsius. You don't need to bundle up. This is perfect temperature. Wow, I would love to visit Vietnam right now. <sighs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh, Claudia says two days ago, the temperature was 28 degrees. And today it's 19, so it's getting colder, but not not zero degrees yet. Hopefully not yet. <laughs> oh, Carlos says, it's snowing here right now, so I need to bundle up. Beautiful sentence. Yes, it is snowing here right now, so I need to bundle up. Let's talk about some clothing that you can wear to bundle up. So let me give you a sentence. We could say... When I bundle up, I wear, hmm, what do you wear when you bundle up? What do you wear when you bundle up? For me, I always wear gloves. These are kind of fun gloves because you can have gloves and mittens at the same time. But when I bundle up, I always wear gloves. It's necessary. Your fingers need to stay warm. Katia says scarves. Yes. Yes. Oh, in Japan, it's pretty cold. Hitoko, Hitoko says I need to bundle up in four layers. <laughs> scarves. Yes. So I have, let's get dressed together. <laughs> I have my, one of my scarves. I love scarves. So I have a couple. <laughs> When you bundle up, you need to wear a scarf. So for me, when I bundle up, I don't just wear a scarf like this. This is, this is kind of a, a fashion style, but it's not protecting your neck. We need to keep our necks warm. So when I bundle up, I use the word wrap. W-R-A-P. I wrap this scarf around my neck and for me i tie it so it won't come out and sometimes when i walk i walk like this because it's so cold <laughs> i need to keep my nose warm so this is really useful so first of all we can say i wrap a scarf around my neck excellent Excellent. Does anyone have any other any other pieces of clothing that we need to wear when we bundle up? What are some other pieces of clothing? Eduardo says it's 13 degrees, so maybe you need a, a long sleeve shirt. That's nice. Not too much, though. Francesca, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Is it cold for you right now? <laughs> Do you need to bundle up? Actually, in my house, it's quite warm, but... I will wear this for our lesson today to explain bundling up. <laughs> All right, so we have to wear, oh, Safi says wear fur shoes. So let's talk about, actually, I'm going to take you to my closet really quick because I have some boots, some boots. So these are, these are some uh, boots that we could wear. Inside, they're quite warm and soft. There is some 
lining, L-I-N-I-N-G, lining, which means maybe fur. These are not, it's not real fur. It's just some thick material. But I have some winter boots and at the bottom, it's pretty thick. So I won't fall on the ice. I think there's no ice right now, but winter boots are necessary. Those are quite necessary. <laughs> oh, Ka says I'm wearing a shirt, jacket, and coat right now. It's cold in Texas. Really, even in Texas it's cold. <laughs> oh, Ben's a hat. Yes, oh, my hat is on the other side of the room. Let's go again. <laughs> I hope that you don't feel too dizzy. All right, I've got my hat. I love this hat. I think it's actually my sister's hat, but I found it, so it's mine. <laughs> All right, you have to wear a hat. A hat and a scarf. And let's see, what else do we need to wear? Let's see, we've got boots. Yes. <laughs> and, oh, Fabio asks, could you explain again what does bundle up mean? Right now, I am bundling up. I'm covering myself in lots of winter clothes. So you could say, before I go outside, I need to bundle up because it's too cold. Here it's about minus two, minus one right now, but it's also nine o'clock in the morning. So later it's going to be a little bit warmer, one or two degrees, <laughs> not too much. <laughs> Oh, David says, in the Canary Islands here in Spain, we hardly ever need to bundle up. Beautiful sentence and probably great weather, huh? <laughs> uh, let's see what else we need to wear to bundle up. <laughs> to bundle up. Let's see. We also need, sometimes it's nice to wear different layers. Layers. So for me... I have different layers. You can see I have one shirt, two shirts, and my sweater. <laughs> I have different layers. So I have two shirts plus one sweater. So we might say, I am wearing layers, layers, layers of clothing. I am wearing layers. And sometimes we use this even as a verb to say, I am layering my clothing. I'm layering my clothing. Oh, Francesca says, I'm working and my office is not so warm. I need to bundle up wearing a white furry jacket. And a jacket is a great thing that we can wear next. Oh, I'm going to get pretty hot soon. <laughs> I have the heat on in my house. So next, I'm going to wear this vest. So usually I don't wear this. You can see here. Usually I don't wear this until it gets really cold because usually my winter jacket is good enough. But if I'm going to go outside for a long time, walk around or visit a new place, it's nice to have another layer <laughs> because I hate being cold. <laughs> so I'm going to wear this vest. V-E-S-T. I'm going to wear this vest. <laughs> so now I have four layers. I have two shirts, one sweater, <laughs> and a vest. And finally, finally, I have my wonderful winter coat. Winter coat. So <laughs> this coat, this coat is like a blanket. I found it at a little tiny second-hand shop for $10. This is amazing. For $10 in Korea, and I wear it all the time. It's so warm, it's huge, it's like a marshmallow, but it is the perfect winter coat. All right, so next, the, the final thing to bundle up <laughs> is a winter coat. <laughs> so this is does anyone know what, what this part is called? This part up here. This is not a hat. This is a hat. What is this part? Hmm. So I can close my coat. And as you can see, oh, it's really, <laughs> really warm. What is this top part called? We can 
put it back, or we can put it up for extra warmth, extra protection. <laughs> so oh, if you are if you are in a hot city right now, I'm sorry, you probably are feeling really hot looking at these clothes. Douglas is the winner. Douglas says it's a hood. A hood, yes. So this is a hood and H-O-O-D. Sometimes if it's not too hot, or if it's not too cold, I only wear this. I just wear a hood because I don't need to wear a hat plus a hood, but a hat keeps my ears nice and warm, so I sometimes also wear a hat. I layer my clothes a lot. This is bundling up. <laughs> this is bundling up. So the final thing I need to put on my gloves, or I can put them like this, <laughs> and I'm ready to go outside. I'm ready to go and beat the cold. <laughs> so I hope you have learned some useful, some useful winter expressions today. Inside my house, it's really warm, so I'm feeling quite hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to demonstrate for you what it looks like to bundle up. Oh, there's one more thing. Madeline has a good question. How many pairs of socks do you wear or pairs of underwear? Like long underwear. Long underwear are kind of like tights or pants. So when it's really cold, usually I wear layers of pants. Maybe two, maybe three, usually just one pair of socks. So I have some thick, I'll take them off and show you. I have some thick socks. These socks are really warm. They're wool socks. <laughs> so usually I only need one pair of socks. But with these socks plus my winter boots, it's great. I'm bundled up, so there are lots and lots of layers. <laughs> and thank you everyone. Let me know, did I did I miss any any pieces of clothing? We talked about gloves and mittens and scarves and hats and long sleeve shirts and sweaters and layering and vests, coats hoods, winter boots. Hmm, is there anything else that you could wear to bundle up? I'm sure there's something. <laughs> but for me, in my city, this is plenty. And in my area, I only need this for a little bit, not too much. Oh, uh, Barwari mentions covering your ears. Yes, so it's possible that you don't have a hat. For me, I like to wear a hat because it's extra warm, but some people like to wear only something on their ears. Do you know what that's called? If we only wear something over our ears. Uh, my husband has one of these. He's probably wearing them right now because he's walking outside going to work. <laughs> uh, unless it's around here. No, he probably is wearing it. What would you call something that you wear over your ears? It's two words. Ear, mm. It starts with an M. Ear, mm. I want to see if you can guess. All right, I'm getting warm. <laughs> what, uh, what would we call that? So we could have a hat, a hat like I was wearing, or we could wear, ah, oh, feels much better, inside. It's... Wonderful. Oh, so you know, she's really close, really close. Ear muff, muff. Oh, he took. Oh, that would be really cute. Ear puff. That's. <laughs> it looks like a puff. So ear muff. M U F F. So some people, they don't like to wear a hat. They would rather wear ear muffs. Muffs. M U F F S. Muffs. So some people like that maybe because it doesn't hurt their hair <laughs> or it's just smaller and easier to carry. For me, 
My first choice is a hood, second choice is a hat, and sometimes I wear all of them. <laughs> ear, E-A-R-M-U-F-F-S, ear muffs. Yes, ear muffs. So in conclusion, all of this is bundling up, bundling up. You need to bundle up if you go to a northern country. If you visit Montreal right now, you certainly need to bundle up. If you visit my city in North Carolina, even though I live in the south, it's still cold. <laughs> so if you visit my city, you need to bundle up. So in conclusion, at the end of this lesson, let's say out loud one sentence using today's vocabulary. There's a lot of vocabulary we talked about, but let's use the final expression, bundle up and keep it together. I need to bundle up, but maybe you are a mom and you need to help your son put on his hat. You need to help him put on his gloves. You might say, I need to bundle him up. I need to bundle him up because you are doing it to him. I need to bundle him up. So typically it's all together but you can separate it if you're doing it to someone else. You're helping a child put on their clothes. So let's say one final sentence together. And if you are somewhere quiet or somewhere where you feel comfortable, say it out loud. This is the best way to remember because you're using it. So say it out loud with me. Are you ready? In the winter. I need to bundle up. In the winter, I need to bundle up. Are you saying this out loud with me all around the world? I want to hear people in Indonesia, in Brazil, in Italy. I want to hear you saying in the winter, I need to bundle up. I need to bundle up. So for you, stay warm if it's cold in your country. Stay cool if it's hot in your country. I hope that you can wear enough warm clothes if it's cold. I hope you can bundle up. And remember, in the winter, I need to bundle up. In the winter, I need to bundle up. I need to bundle up. In the winter, I need to bundle up. In the winter, I need to bundle up. In the winter, I need to bundle up. Winter, I, bundle up. I hope you had a chance to say it out loud with me. And have a beautiful week. I will see you again next week on Thursday here at the same time, I believe. Next week, Thursday, I will still be here. Yes, I'm going on uh, not necessarily vacation, but I'm visiting my family for the holiday season, Christmas holiday season. But I will be here on Thursday next week. We will meet again on Facebook. So please come again for another live lesson. If you have a topic suggestion, of course, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to download my free end of the year gift. End of the year gift. It is in the comments of this video. It is a top three guide. Top three guide so that you can really organize what you want to do when you want to or when you want to improve your grammar when you want to improve your pronunciation you can look at this guide and there are three tips i should do this oh i've never done number two i'm gonna do this i'm gonna try this so i hope that you can download the guide and print it out this is my key and idea for you print it out put it on the wall put it under your pillow sleep with it <laughs> and try to use these tips for each category. So use this in your uh, English study. There is a link, a free download link in the description of this video. And if you'd like to continue to learn about winter, about winter with me, this month in the Fearless Fluency Club, 
I interviewed my friend who lived in Minnesota. This is the coldest state in the US, maybe except for Alaska. It is the coldest place. Typically, it was minus 20, minus 30, sometimes minus 40, and she explained a lot of her experiences living in the North and why she decided to move to the South, to my city. So maybe today, minus one, she thinks is like summer. <laughs> so if you'd like to learn more about winter, this is our focus for the Fearless Fluency Club this month in December. So if you join the course, the link is in the description here. I hope you can really learn about winter activities. Today we talked about winter clothes and you'll be able to focus on grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, and also join our Facebook group if you become part of the Fearless Fluency Club. So I hope that for you, you can continue to learn with me. Join me next week on Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, same time as this lesson. Download the free guide, Top 3 English Tips. And if you'd like to continue learning right now in our Fearless Fluence Club, join us and talk about winter. It is a winter month. <laughs> Have a beautiful weekend. Have a wonderful time staying warm. Thank you for all of your good advice. Dan says, bundle up, you guys. Take care. Carter says, Vanessa, bundle up. It's super cold outside. I will. <laughs> I will certainly bundle up. I have, thankfully, I have a lot of warm clothes. I feel grateful that I can bundle up and I will stay warm. <laughs> so have a wonderful day. I'll see you again the next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.